put it back. Mm -hmm. Sit. Mine like won't sit back like that. I just don't have the head. <laughs> they just look like big hats, you know? Like when you look up. <laughs> the witches are in. Stupid. Oh, I do. Your skin looks good. Lauren didn't tell me that. She had her hat like this. supposed to like and shove the hat down. She has a line right here. I'm gonna be wearing these all day. Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. I haven't started off this vlog yet, but it is the Friday before Halloween. Yesterday, we actually did wine and cheese. If you've seen my work week of my life, then you know that we do wine and cheese every Thursday and we did char spookery boards. And I took a little video clip to insert in this vlog. So I'll insert that footage right here. but I thought they turned out super cute and the clients loved it and we had a great time. So I just got off of work. I just felt like I wanted to vlog today and start off the vlog. I went to Whole Foods after work and picked up some more milk and creamers because I was running out and I wanted to make sure I had some for tomorrow morning when I made my coffee. <laughs> I self tanned last night. If you guys know that I self tan every single Friday, I self tanned last night instead of tonight because we are going to Colombia, which is a Spanish restaurant and they have them all over Florida. So if you live in Florida, they have them all up and down the state. So if you haven't been, you should definitely check it out. If you live in Orlando, I'm going to the one in celebration, but I've also been to the one in St. Augustine and it is so good. I get this chicken dish. It is so good. So I'm going there tonight. Christian's sister, husband, and niece are in town and they stayed at our apartment last night. But we're going with them tonight because tomorrow is his sister's birthday. So we're going to, to celebrate. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside and change and get ready for dinner.
just so you guys can go and see what curling iron I use, flat iron, it's all linked, all the products, hairsprays, leave-ins, and the technique that I use. So I am getting ready to go to the food and wine festival actually. My boyfriend's boss is giving us two tickets to go. They're going as well, him and his wife. So I've never met Christian's boss before, so I'm gonna meet them as well and it'll be a lot of fun. It's at, so it's at the Food and Wine Festival at the Swan and Dolphin Hotel that's by Disney. So I'm really excited and apparently the tickets are really expensive. So I feel really lucky that he, um, that his boss is giving us tickets. I'm gonna get ready and show you the products that I'm using. Even though my routine doesn't change too, too much. So I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This has been my go-to foundation for a really long time. I have two shades that I mix because sometimes I'm tanner and sometimes I'm a little bit paler. So it's always nice to have both shades. I think this foundation has a really nice finish. I think we have to leave in like an hour. And I'll obviously bring you guys along for what I can. I don't really know what it's gonna be like. And I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape, which I like. Okay, and then, what I've been using is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder. It's just like a sample powder underneath my eyes only. I use this setting brush by Real Techniques. The 402 brush, I'll link it. I'm gonna use it on my lid as well. And then what I use for my face is like a Morphe loose powder. So I just have a sample of this, but when I run out, I'll probably purchase it, like the full size. And then I use Morphe Bacon Set setting powder. I'm gonna use the brightening pink. I don't really notice a lot of color correcting from this, so. Bless you. And I just kind of, bless you. I just kind of go where I'm oily. And then I'm gonna go in with the NARS bronzer in Laguna. I think I'm gonna use the A Cream blush. It's the Merit Cheek Color in Mood. I actually got this sent to me and I got another one sent to me. This one's in Beverly Hills and I really, really like them. I them to me like a few months ago and I like to use them regularly. Next, I'm gonna do a crease shade. I like to use the, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I don't like using it on my face. It makes me break out or gives me like little bumps. Then basically what I use next and what I have been using is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette. I like to use like the red and oranges. I love those colors on my eyes personally. I used Roxanne, my outer corners, and I'm using MFEO on my lid. Okay, my battery died, but we're back. I've never even heard of this. Phaseberry. I don't know. Okay. I did my eyeshadow. Now I'm doing the Kat Von D tattoo liner. <laughs> Bless you. 
but I'm just using like a L'Oreal Infallible eyeliner for my waterline that I just use on the top waterline. And I mix two mascaras. This is my second two of this. I got sent a bit of makeup from Merit Beauty like a few months ago and it's natural makeup and I really love it. So I bought another tube of their mascara because I loved layering it with my Maybelline The Rocket. So this is volume and this is lengthening. So they do two different things. So they have two different applicators and I find that when I mix them, I just love the look of it. And then lastly, I use the Morphe eyebrow pencil. I feel like this cheek isn't... Like, is that just the lighting? I don't know what I did. This cheek like looks really bad. I don't think it's the lighting in here. I keep looking at this cheek and it does not look good. I don't know what I did. Hair and makeup are done. So I'll link all the products that I used on my face and as makeup, and um, I'll also link the hair care or the hair curling routine down below as well. So now I need to figure out what I'm wearing. So let's do that. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to the little food and wine festival event that we're going to tonight. I don't know how to dress for this weather that's the low 60s. So I may look a little ridiculous for Florida weather, but whatever. Just wearing this really, I guess, kind of oversized, slouchy, boxy fit sweater from Zara. It's really old, so they definitely don't have it in stock, so I can't link it. And then leather leggings that I got from Bloomingdale's years ago. They're like the Aqua brand, so I, can't, I don't think I can link these either. And then really old booties as well. So I can't really link anything, unfortunately, but this is the fit that I'm wearing. And Christian's just wearing jeans and a short sleeve shirt, so we don't even look like we're going to the same city with the same weather, if that makes sense. We're like totally different weather outfits. I'm just bringing this bag and calling it a day.